Hello, my name is Friar John, and I'm coming to you to share about a giant of our order, the conventual Franciscans. His name is Damien Zimmerman, known affectionately by his friends as Zim, who is a follower of St. Francis. And like St. Francis, who sought not the praise of others, but simply to follow after our Lord Jesus Christ, Damien was no different. He didn't enjoy the spotlight. He didn't enjoy the, the compliments of others and shied away from them in his sole pursuit to follow after the founder of the Franciscans, St. Francis, and more importantly, Jesus Christ, his Lord. Ralph Zimmerman came to Mount St. Francis in 1929 to study when he was 12 years old. From an early age, Ralph Zimmerman had a true curiosity for the world around him, studying things in the woods, studying the root of the Holy Scriptures, the languages of Greek and Hebrew. He truly excelled in academics and learning about God's wonderful world around him. And in a way, a simple way, just like the Lord used parables, he could convey that message of the gospel to the everyday person. In Novitiate, Ralph took the name Damien after Saint Damien, who served the lepers in Malachi, Hawaii. Damien was inspired by the missionary efforts of so many from a very young age. In fact, he petitioned to his minister provincial to go to Korea to be a foreign missionary and also Africa. But God had other plans for him. He went to serve the Spanish-speaking peoples in the southwestern portion of the United States in Lovington, New Mexico. It was there in 1967 that he was influential in establishing Our Lady of the Rosary Parish. And it was there that he fell in love with the Spanish language and the culture of the Latino peoples. Damien died in 1979. And he had a conversation with Sister Margarita where he said he had a conversation with the Blessed Mother the mother of Jesus. And in that conversation, he said, I can't die on this particular day for the friars are too busy on that day. And I can't die on this other day for there's too much going on at the parish, but I can die on February 2nd. And he told Sister Margarita, we have decided what day I would die. On that day, February 2nd, she told one of her neighboring sisters, we have to go visit Damien. We have to go visit for him. He thinks he's going to die today. So they visited him and they had a very amicable conversation with him. And in fact, one of the conversations he had with the nurse, having a little bit of angst and worry, perhaps, about the day that he would see our Lord Jesus Christ, he said, what do I say? The nurse wasn't Catholic at the time, but she'd heard the prayers of the dead many times in hospital rooms. So she said, Say, into your hands, I commend my spirit. And immediately a sense of calm came over Damien. He passed away that afternoon on the day he predicted would happen, February 2nd. And they said later that even in death, he was leading others to our Lord Jesus Christ. For that nurse, who was non-Catholic at the time, later converted. Zim was known as a poet, a wordsmith. He had a wonderful way of taking simple yet profound ideas and putting them to poetry. For example, the paraphrased Lord's Prayer. Our Father, in all I do and all I undertake, may I cause your name to be called holy. May all I do hasten the coming of your kingdom to which my Franciscan life gives witness. May we, in the spirit of Francis, be not eager for what we eat and what we wear, nor for house, nor place, nor anything, but rather that those in need have them first. For you provide for us who live in Christ. 
Amen. Damian Zimmerman will always be remembered as a giant of the order, one who lived minoritas well, who didn't seek after the praise of others or the spotlight of the world. He had a love for scripture, a love for the outdoors, and a love for Our Lady. Truly a Franciscan at heart. My name is Friar John, and you've been listening to Giants of the Order. Pace bene.